Drizzle Consulting. So let's see how the flow goes. It all starts with you as a developer. You create a Vagrant file or you obtain it maybe from source control or from a fellow developer. Then Vagrant will take the Vagrant file and then it will run the Vagrant file on top of VirtualBox. So Vagrant needs VirtualBox. It will create a new image for you. And once the image is created, it's available for Vagrant. Then Vagrant will run a script or several scripts to do provisioning. So once the environment is created, like let's call we created a new Linux environment. Now we need to install the database and application server on top of it. You can do this in several ways. Vagrant is capable of running Chef or Puppet, or it can run a shell script, so a bash script, if you would call it. And in this script, you can define all the environments that you need to get built up on the new uh, in the new operating system. And then Vagrant will automatically run this on your behalf. And then your environment would be ready for you to use. This flow, as simple as it looks, is the reason why Vagrant is in place, because Vagrant controls and manages the orchestration between creating the environment on a virtual box obtaining the latest operating system, then running a script or more to build the environment or to build the stack that you going to need. It also controls or gives the capability for you to update and upgrade or even destroy the whole environment if you need. So imagine a user or a developer in this case, they create a new Vagrant file for the environment then they would add it into some source control, Git environment, GitHub, uh, or any other source control. Now, this means that it's going to be available for everyone in the team. So everyone in the team is going to obtain the same Vagrant file that got created once. And now they can run it as many times as they want. And they are going to build their own environment, typically to the one that was designed from the beginning in the Vagrant file, the one that you ideally would have it typical to your production environment now imagine that some changes has happened as we mentioned before so you have a new version your new version is going to get pushed to your git repository and then everyone is going to get the latest they are going to destroy their current environment and then they are going to create the new environment so now you need to think about your environment as a commodity it's not the end result it's just a tool or a means to an aim so you can destroy your environments as much as you want create new ones because the way to build the environments comes from a script and also if you are doing good housekeeping you will also have all your source code in the same or in a different git repository or another source code control so it ends up you running some scripts and the environments get up and running get to the latest they are Drizzle Consulting.